All right, so this is a pretty straightforward and easy thing to do if you get the right information. But what's going to happen most of the times is you're going to have to do a law of sines or a law of cosines or something else to get your way to the right information to do the problem. Uh, this is the formula you get on the formula sheet. It's pretty easy to deal with. Um, just like everything else, the A, the B, and the C don't necessarily mean the A, B, the C, and the triangle. Basically, you're going to have a triangle. You're going to know two sides, 27, 16 and you're gonna know the angle in between them, 45, all right? That's what you have to know, a side, and then an angle, and then a side, all right? And as long as you know that, you plug them in, A and B are the sides, because they're lowercase letters, C is the angle, I, when we had, because we had to memorize these formulas, and I hated the ones that had letters, I always memorized this formula right here, all right? One half side, side, and then sine of the angle in between the sides. So just, Pay attention to what you're doing. Make sure you've got sides and an angle in the middle of them, or else it doesn't work. Uh, this works for any triangle, including right triangles. So previous to now, you could only do one half base times height, and it had to be a perpendicular thing. Um, you know that's because when you have that situation, the angle between the base and the height is 90, and the sine of the 90 is one. That's why that worked. In case you were curious. Um, so this is just adjusting, again, like the rest of this stuff is, is adjusting for non-right triangles.